Oh, baby. Ladies, gentlemen, Gungans, droids, Kiati Moonies with ex extended lifespans. You're watching on Old Holiday News, and let me tell you, we are live right now with a fantastic update that just hit. I'm talking TIE Bomber Galactic War Store, Rebel Y-Wing, Grieve Karga, Mando, new lightsaber bonus that I see that already I don't know, a new assault battle. Holy moly, people. We got a lot to break down. So why don't you guys come on over and let's just show some of the first things that we got in this update here. First things first, let's get everyone uh, really quickly. Everyone say hi real quick. I'm gonna cover my ugly mug. Gary, we don't need to see me. Here's all the fantastic people seeing what, <laughs> our eyes are deceiving us right now, people. This is some screenshots coming through Galactic War as we speak. And as you can see, TIE Bomber. If you don't see it right now, you got to wait for it to refresh again. I did a couple Chris to refresh to see all the new stuff. So don't refresh manually. Just wait till the refresh kicks in. Imperial TIE Bomber. We're talking Rebel Y-Wing. Also, we got Anakin's ETA Starfighter. My brother was complaining and moaning when he got back into the game a couple months. He was like, bro, this is taking too long. And then he bought the Lysi bundle. Well, joke's on you. But speaking of that, we have a couple other Galactic Wars stuff I want to bring down for you. But we also have a light speed bundle that we're gonna have to break down and uh you know uh, this could be a love it or and i think it's gonna be either okay or you might <laughs> potentially hate it but before we do that let me bring you on over to the game to show you the couple other little things inside here if you go take a look there's a other couple of additions as you can see i did a couple refreshes tie advance another ship almost forgot about that is in here usually it's in the fleet arena store so much easier and what does that mean people that means the executor farm just got tremendously easier as well as sit the turtle emperor getting the tie bomber running tie advance as well for the executor holy cow uh there's no excuse not to get to your executor anymore at this point point. and on top of that mando we're here live and people are like oh mando's in the galactic wars i'm like no it's not <laughs> it's in the galactic wars so developers aren't even chiming about it we also got grieve karga holy cow these are hard note farms Galactic War is what? It takes like a week or a week and a half to get a seven star character. We got Finn that was added, making the raid farm easier, maybe getting your Zori team up and running a bit better. So, this right here, these are tremendous updates. And again, the reason why we're seeing this is because we need new blood coming into the game. As old players, you know, they've been hanging out, some people leave, and if there's not new blood coming in, it's not a good sign for the game. So, they've been making a lot of tremendous efforts in the past couple of updates to get uh, new people involved because the, the beginning game was miserable. No one wants to play of Clone Wars Chewie for three months, so they got to level 85 faster. They're giving you a bunch of characters, ships, Grieve Karga, Mando, so much easier to get up and running. And I already claimed mine, but if you check in your, your inbox, you may also have 10,000 shard shop currency. I already claimed it, so check 10,000 shard shop currency is 10,000 shard shop currency. But now let's go take a little look at this. We have a light speed bundle coming. And it's primarily gonna be benefiting, well, the new upcoming raid. So we have a Jedi Alley's Lights panel. We don't have the exact dates. I'll double check, maybe the data mines have it. Uh, but right now, this just came fresh off the uh, data mine express here. It's not gonna be the most exciting Lightspeed bundle, but it's got a singular purpose. For 20 US dollars, you will get the Relic 5, Qui-Gon Jinn, Luminara, Eeth Koth, Plum, Kid Fisto, guys, calm down, I know. These are top shelf characters. <laughs> Jokes aside, this is really, again, the sole fo focus is really meant to be the Galactic Republic Jedi requirements coming through the Naboo Raid. And as we kind of already pointed out, one of the biggest drawbacks is the requirements aren't very friendly. I think my free-to-play count has only one, two, maybe two characters ready for this event. I don't have any of their stuff. And most people, if you're not me, you probably aren't wasting your resources on all these characters, except maybe OG Quagga. Not that's not Master Quagga. We're talking old school Quagga. Otherwise, these are not great characters. Plo, you me have already picked up from the previous Negotiator bundle, whatever it was. They threw him in here and here again. Plo has at least got a good ship, and you know he's all he's an all right character, Star Killer. But the other bundles, they gave you him and the ship on top of that. So if you're someone that's wanting to stay on top of this Naboo grind and it's a speculation no one really has any idea how this event's going to work we could speculate but my speculation is Luminara it's probably gonna be one of the more important characters Jedi healers well there are not many Jedi healers inside of that event Luminara is probably going to be important uh, my hope is maybe they're going to bring in a rework or maybe a character to make it better we saw that there was Grandmaster to rework stuff and the data mines and they submitted some confidential files to Lucasfilm that we saw about a week ago or so so there's something coming maybe that'll make these guys better but as of now 
It's not the craziest thing in the world uh, compared to the other Lyce bonus, but if you have to just put the blinders on for a second, $20 for five characters at Relic 5, 500 Kyrotech needed to get him up and running. Technically, there is a very positive value when, it, when you do a, a, a dollar per Kyrotech analysis, ignoring even the relics and the other stuff. So there's 20 dollars but I would have liked to see this be five, maybe $10 at most. A little too much for our blood around here, but hmm, do what you gotta do with this Naboo raid, because I think it's a kind of intentional. They picked some of the worst characters for this event. They really have no purpose outside of it. We have a couple of things I want to bring to your attention here. Uh, we have additive drops coming as well before we do some other stuff that, you know, we have a new assault battle. It's kind of interesting that we're going to be getting here starting tomorrow. And this is why we're going to kind of segue into this new assault battle. Master qui is going to be an additive drop on the Cantina node. We're going to pat him on Obi-Wan on the light side, dark side, hard node starting tomorrow for the next couple of days here. And this is going to be a good thing to move those farms forward. I've, I've been liking this theme over the past year where they had additive drops for the Cal requirements, for the layer requirements, for the Gungans the other day. It really speeds things up along. So great to see that. And this is kind of important because, well, if you go check out in game, there is a new assault battle, which they also highlight in their update section that they have here. Let's go check it out really quick, my senores. Oh, they corrected it. It said dual with an A instead of an E. I they changed it, but here you go. New assault battle coming. Downside is you need Master Qui-Gon. You need Battle on Obi-Wan. The good news is if you meet the relic requirements, they're giving out droid brains in this event. So there's not a lot of ways to get droid brains except territories. And well, we got another option here. As you can see in today's update, they've launched the Duel Defeats Assault Battle. Here are the rewards that we're looking at here. Padawan Obi-Wan at any level, as well as Master Qui-Gon. You could do tier one. You'll get two million credits, seven shards of Padawan Obi-Wan or Master Qui-Gon. And you could do a refresh of 499. So if, you know, the, the refreshes are kind of steep here. Uh, tier two, if you have a five-star Qui-Gon, which I think, a, and Padawan Obi-Wan, if you do these additive drops, good chance you'll probably get a five-star Qui-Gon over the next couple days here. Two million credits, 10 to 15 shards of Padawan Obi-Wan or of Master Qui-Gon. 999 Chris refresh caps out at two. Then tier three, you need a seven star, two million credits, and all of the following slicing mats. So modding material, you don't want to sleep on it. The, the modding materials, freebies are freebies in that regard. But is it, is it free technically if you needed the whale to get a seven star Qui-Gon? In the future, likely you don't have the whale on, on the seven star Qui-Gon. And then we move up to tier four, relic five needed. Five million credits, 100 crystals, and a bunch of signal data and some of the lower tier relic pieces here. Then we get the tier five. And we're not even done yet. This is going to jump up a little bit more where maybe it's going to get a little too pricey for my blood. But when I think about it, eh, let's let's wait till the next tier. Just hold on for a second. We have a guarantee rewards, five million credits. And then you have the possibility of getting one of the following relic mats and one of the following signals. So you can get Zimbital cards, impulse detectors, arrow magnifiers, and then one of the signal datas that you got here. But then things get really, really, really steep. A Relic 9 Master Qui-Gon and a Relic 9 Padawan Obi-Wan. You'll get 5 million credits. This is kind of almost a credit heist at this point. 100 crystals. And those are the guaranteed rewards. And one of the following, Gurger keypads, which you kind of already get enough of those with the raid rewards. Well, maybe not if you can't do the new Naboo raid because you don't have enough characters up running. Yeah, you know, we'll have to wait and see about that. But the droid brains, five droid brains, I mean, besides Territor Wars and, um, you know, the, the, the shipment that you buy for crystals, not a lot of ways of getting droid brains. So that's kind of a big deal there. So though it's steep, if this is going to be a repeatable assault battle, which you can already see, it's already programmed in game. It's going to be here in a couple days. So it looks like maybe right after the additive drops, boom, we'll be able to see uh, this event happen for us. And then uh, there's all your rewards that we just broke down right there. But if this is going to be a repeatable assault battle, like other assault battles that we have, Maybe that Relic 9 investment you know, will pay itself off if you can keep getting the credits, the crystals, the, the, the other Relic materials. So it's definitely one of the steeper assault battles that we have, at least for now. In the future, I'm sure more people are going to have Master Qui-Gon, Padawan, Obi-Wan, Kenobi uh, up and running. And then uh, let's go check out a couple of things. Uh, we have, besides the Light Speed Bundle and all that jazz, it looks like there's some sort of like, uh, they're calling it Ability and Energy Ascension. I have no idea if this is supposed to be like battle pass this is coming from the data mine so no specific details on it but as you see as you move up the tier you'll get additional rewards this is the ability ascension when you check out the energy one as you go up you're going to get more and more energy 
uh, and, you know, energy has been kind of more important now more than ever, especially people hoarding for special additive drops or for Galactic Legend tickets. Kind of a big deal. So uh, a little confused on that. And let's go pull up the data mines real quick here to kind of show you some of the other stuff that we have. Actually, let's go check out the uh, the game assets. You can see a few other things here. And you can see there's like a free tier Then I'm guessing there's a premium tier. So as you climb, you know, you can pay to get the, the, the special ones. It's a... Uh, it, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Star Wars Hunters lately, and they kind of have a free version. Then you can, you know, buy to get the other paid rewards, I guess, which is the gold tier right there. So, you know, time will tell what that's going to look like. And then if you check out the general data mine, we are seeing July yet again. We're going to be focusing on Scout Trooper and Night Sisters as the login stuff. And, you know, my theory has been Ahsoka Tano stuff is probably the next big chapter for Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. We're supposed to get a road ahead next month. So we'll have to see what the true story is going to be. Uh, with all that there and then uh other than that yeah this is our assault battle that we got cooking here but uh boy it's been um pretty awesome seeing these updates here some things are a little you know uh, maybe a little steep but at the end of the day man just those simple additions of adding all of these new ships in here the grieve cargas the mandos the tie advanced the tie bomber the anakin the rebel y-wing is quite a big deal so i'm hoping they're gonna uh, talk about this more it's funny like this is a big update and nowhere in their update notes <laughs> are they highlighting anything here i don't know but so far the kyber club has been uh pretty excited about all this let me see anything else i'm missing my beautiful kyber clubians before we get out and about here we'll uh have to wait and see about this naboo raid i do have some slight concerns about those requirements uh but you know maybe it's gonna be easier it's hard to say hard to say we're looking good here all right people we got to get back into the grand arena actions if you're watching this right now likely we're inside the grand arena killing it in this first week of 5v5 so y'all thank you for stopping by catch on the flip and before we get going always remember what do we say people what do we say oh oh yeah <laughs> how can i forget it's great to be in the empire <laughs> today oh it's great to be in the empire